off grid stores here with another video. And in this video, we will be going over the difference between these three panels right here. We have the rigid 100 watt rich solar panel, the flexible 100 watt rich solar panel, and the portable or foldable or briefcase or whatever you want to call it 100 watt rich solar panel and which one will be best for your needs so before i go over that if you find this video helpful please be sure to like the video helps out with the algorithm and helps this page and channel grow and also helps people that are looking for this information find it easier and if you want to see more videos please be sure to subscribe as well so firstly let's just look at all these panels without going over any data we can see right here that the flexible panel is by far the tallest one and it's even flexing a little bit next up by the rigid and then obviously the foldable one the foldable one is not going to be very tall it will fold out wide and obviously the flexible one is the tallest so let's first talk about for what purpose you would be using one of these panels for personally for me i'm all the time a rigid solar panel kind of guy first off they are by far the cheapest this is 119.99 189.99 and this is 199.99 i really don't like portable panels but they might work for your situation so at the moment let's just talk about rigid and flexible because i believe those are going to be the two most popular ones out there rigid you're going to be using for obviously if you have a house a cabin something small like that a tiny home there's no reason not to use these panels they're cheaper they're better they last longer and you don't need to really worry about weight or aerodynamics or anything like that the flexible panels in my opinion are really only for people that have certain applications like if you're trying to put them to the top of a school bus you don't want to build any type of jig you just want to stick it straight to the curve of a school bus or as they show in the pictures for these items you know if you're on a boat or something where the surface is not 100 flat these are going to help but one thing i've noticed is a lot of people think that they bend a lot more than they do which then leads to them damaging the cells they're super 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 thin cells and you know any amount of bending is going to hurt them this you can't bend this you're not going to bend this and if you do it'll break because you got a lot of force on it either way and then with the portable solar panel i really don't see too many uses for it other than maybe if you have some form of a camper or something like that you're camping you're sedentary you're staying sitting somewhere and you know you just need to charge something during the day charge up one of your solar generators or something during the day these in my opinion don't work very well for off-grid 100 off-grid purposes you know you're going to be on the ground they might not have the height and you know there it's kind of a pain to lug them around especially if you have more than one if you have one or two sure something quick and easy but if you're trying to do like the Delta Max can take a hundred can take 800 watts. So eight of these. Are you really going to carry around eight of these? They're heavy. They're kind of clunky, and it's kind of weird. So now I'm going to put down the camera. I'm going to flip them around. We'll get into the specs. All right. So here we are looking at the specs of the Rich Solar 100 watt rigid panel. And just to go over a few things really quickly, it's more just about the size. It's 39 inches tall, 21.3 inches wide. 1.2 inches thick it's got a nice frame right here and some space which allows for air to pass through and cool this thing down that's why these panels are rated for 25 years to be at 80 percent of their original efficiency and you'll get a five-year workmanship and you know damage warranty you also get three foot long cables on the back of these nice waterproof box and Again, like I said, it's the cheapest. Other than that, you know, they're pretty much very similar all around besides size and weight, 15 pounds. We've got 15 pounds for this one. So, 
Now let's come over here to the flexible rich solar panel. It's 40.6, the other one was 39, so it's like 1.6 inches taller. 21.3, same amount width. And we only got 0.1 inches thick. It's super thin, it's flexible. I'll put it on the ground, we can test it later. Other than that, super similar, just max volts and max current and everything like that. I just wanted to show pretty much the weight and the height and the weight's 4.8 pounds. This only comes with a one year warranty. They don't last as long. If you're gonna put this flat on a surface, like on top of a bus or something curved or anything like that, there's not gonna be as much air that can get under it. These super thin cells are gonna overheat and possibly get damaged. That's why there's only a one year warranty on this and a five year warranty and a 25 year power output warranty on this. So again, cheaper, pretty much better in most situations and with a longer warranty, $70, yeah, $70 more expensive and less warranty. So you gotta think about that when you're purchasing these, is the lightweight really worth it for only a specific amount of applications? I think it will be. And now let's come down here and look at the foldable rich solar panel. When it's folded, it's 27 inches long, 22 inches wide, 2.2 inches, 2.8 inches thick. And when it's unfolded, I don't know where they're getting the, the 43. I'm assuming it's from this to here across it. Tall, 27 inches wide. I don't know how it gains five inches in width or yeah, five, I don't know. And then 1.4 inches thick, which makes sense. But if you look right here, it's 21.5 pounds. And at the moment, I'm unsure if there is a warranty. I asked them about it. We'll put that in there if there is. Again, it's got two waterproof junction boxes, which again, leads to more chance for failure because there's not one, there's two. More issues can go wrong. And again, it's, it's you know, it's kind of clunky. Um, Although it is well-made, don't get me wrong. It's definitely one of the more well-made ones or the better well-made ones. It's just that for me, I don't really think it's worthwhile. We got three feet. I forgot to mention the flexible panel has two feet of cable. So that is also another thing. So again, it really goes to show. And one thing I did want to mention, two feet. But again, also these are going to be on the front and ex exposed to Again, just the weather and possible issues. The, this is gonna be on the back. Again, making it probably more longevity, giving it more life. These leading to more room for failure. The reason why they're bigger is because they have to extend it to put these grommets on there. But if you wanna see the bend, you know, they are flexible. I don't wanna flex it too hard. It's supposed to have a 30 degree bend. And yeah. So at the end of the day, it's really up to what you want. What fits your application. But I think for most people's needs in almost every single aspect, it's gonna be the rigid panel. Much cheaper, much longer lasting, better warranty, and just an all around, just more well-proven science. These are much newer. And then the foldable panels, in my opinion, are just kind of clunky and not really for everyone. So let me know down below if this video was helpful. If you have any questions, anything I missed, again, please, if you like the video, please like it. Let's help out this channel, help out boost the algorithm. And if you haven't already, subscribe, it'd be very helpful. I'm gonna put out a lot more videos like this. Thank you.